number of climate related uh, natural disasters is climbing in an alarming rate with significant economic and health related impacts and especially in that is especially for the most vulnerable so this is why adaptation is needed on a large scale well we all know that climate change is one of the greatest challenges of our time and we already know thanks to the scientific community around the world that that we uh, urgently need to transition to low carbon economies and societies and to pursue sustainable development and we all know also that adaptation is one of, of those sustainable development solutions uh, considering the, the impacts of climate change that we cannot avoid and affects more seriously developing countries that are the most vulnerable. We also know that the uh, Paris Agreement already recognized the, the, the parity, the equal footing with mitigation and the need to increase adaptation capacity to strengthen resilience and to reduce vulnerability. For action research involving people doing adaptation and then learning how to do adaptation is the way that we will generate new knowledge and be able to share that across the world. So whether it is called action research or it's called participatory research whatever name it is given the main ingredient to make it absolutely people driven is essential in the climate space in the area of adaptation because what that does is that it allows communities to collectively identify their challenges and examine their processes to make either confirmed choices of what they're doing right or to make changes. Action research helps see alternatives and build new social and new research networks. You know, the actual or the very fact of working with a new set of partners in doing research, with bringing in civil society organizations, NGOs, community members to really uh, private sector as well as public uh, sector, the government, you know, it's such an important part of the, doing the research. Um, bringing together these circles under a research mantra or umbrella can really um, increase the strength of the research findings because those findings will have been created in partnership. As part of the CARIA program, we did the work in Botswana and in Namibia that I would categorize as action research because it was an effort to bring together a number of sources of knowledge to, uh, at the same level with no hierarchies, discuss what is making um, people vulnerable in a particular area of Botswana and of Namibia. For me, the value of this example is that it was so compelling to government that government decided we want to do this in the case of Botswana, not just in this sub-district, but we want to do it nationally so that they inform the national strategies for development. In fact, such exercises ended up having direct inputs, direct impact in uh, the district development plans of various districts in Botswana. So what we have done um, in the city of Haborone is that we have created a platform in which we have um, um, had a, a core learning initiative where all stakeholders of the city come together to share knowledge and uh, to share information as well as to co-create solutions to the issues that they are facing of climate change under uh, um, an umbrella of um, um, action research where we were doing research in order to do both the exploration together as well as come up with solutions. If we need to scale up uh, research, action research, research that connects to implementation, research that works, gets out of the lab, uh, gets into the field, works with farmers, works with local communities that are struggling to cope with climate risks. Uh, if we need to do that, we need to really scale up investment. But beyond investment, we need to actually uh, change the way research is done. So there is potential for a new architecture of research to be done in which communities, uh, professional NGOs that work with them, 
researchers from the north and south develop a new circle of partnerships that begin to address what has not worked from a perspective of developing a new paradigm through which the policy framework can be changed so the uh, the adaptation research alliance is a very uh, good new initiative trying to link together researchers who are working on adaptation in different countries around the world uh, as well as practitioners who are actually trying to do adaptation in in different parts of the world and as it happens the most uh, impacted regions around the world are poor developing countries in asia and africa uh, at least 50 vulnerable developing countries who are at the forefront of tackling climate change as we speak and are going up a experiential learning curve which is possible for them to share their knowledge both south to south with other developing countries and indeed south to north with the developed countries who will face the problems of climate change uh, in coming years as well. So we need to be an advocate. Alliance needs to be an advocate for change, change in funding, change in the way we do research. Beyond that, the Alliance needs to help uh, in better planning and coordination. Very often we have uh, research projects funded uh, by two different uh, funding agencies that are working on the same problem, that are working with the same communities, but are not talking to each other. They don't even know sometimes that they exist. And, and that can be addressed through better planning, better information, better coordination. So these are the functions that the Alliance will hope to, to take up uh, as it gets going. In many ways, the timing for the Alliance is right. We are at a fairly historic moment in time. Uh, even as we are grappling with the pandemic and with COVID-19, uh, the climate crisis continues, continues building up, uh, continues unabated. And we are looking this year in particular uh, as a year of, of signal importance if we have to scale up our efforts uh, to COP26 in Glasgow. COP26 is a critical moment for galvanizing action on adaptation and resilience. It's also a prime opportunity to underscore the centrality of research for understanding what works and what doesn't to ensure our communities are resilient to the challenges posed by future climate change. However, current support for adaptation and resilience research is insufficient. It's lacking in coordination and the research is not effectively linked through to implementation well enough to address the magnitude or urgency of practical actions that are needed to build a climate resilient future. Together, we can change this. The Adaptation Research Alliance is a bold, new, global, collaborative effort to build that bridge between research and action. We will work together in the run-up to COP26 to co-develop a strong alliance with ambitious but realistic outcomes that enable adaptation and resilience research led by the needs of the most vulnerable and which develop solutions that address the scale of the climate emergency. Mm -hmm.